Hi there, this is Tim. Welcome back. We're on lesson number two. We're going to talk about preparing your image files for use with InDesign. Now InDesign as a page layout program can use almost any type of file. A GIF, a JPEG, a PSD, Photoshop document, um, but the one we're going to use for consistency is a TIFF tagged image file format. All right. So here I have my InDesign layout, which is the cover of that one little book, and it has one picture box with an image in it, and it's got a couple of text boxes there. So right now I'm going to delete this image, and you'll see that there's this picture box here, which is waiting to be filled. Now if you look in my little uh, links palette, this shows all the image files that I use in this document. And you can see that the shadow minnows disappeared there when I deleted it because it's no longer being used. So let's get rid of that once more if I can click on it. All right. So over here in Photoshop, I have that file in open. And after it had been shot on a digital camera, I had saved it as a PSD that I had done a little bit of work on, um, just to bump the contrast up a little bit. So the reason why I'm saving these all as TIFFs is that consistency is the most important aspect of getting good quality output. If you submit a book to a printer and some of the images are PSDs and some are TIFFs and some are in sRGB and some are JPEGs and some are in Adobe RGB or Profoto, whatever color space, the printer is never going to be able to get consistent quality out of all those images. So it's your job to prepare them all in the same fashion. Okay. So with this one I'm going to take my PSD and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and convert the Profoto, yeah, it's a pro pro Profoto profile, and I'm going to convert it to Adobe RGB. That's the most common one used for print output, uh, and so we'll stick with that. All right, so now I have converted the numbers, the way the numbers are classified for color. Okay, now I need to set my uh, resolution. So I'm going to go up to the image menu, down to image size dialog box, and I want all my resolution set to the same. And we're going to use 300 pixels per inch. Okay. So right now I don't want to change the number of pixels. I don't want to resample the image. So I'm going to uncheck that. All I want to do is change how they're oriented. So I'm going to change that to 300, and you can see that my document size, that means my output size, has changed from 100 centimeters to 18 by 24 centimeters. Okay. All right. So I can turn that resample image box back on. You can see that our number of pixels and our total memory haven't changed. All that's changed is the resolution, how those pixels are lined up. Right, so I hit OK on that, and now I'm going to do File and Save As. Da -da 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 okay, so Shadow Minnows, and because I already have one of these, I'm just going to enable this O2. I'm keeping it in my Image folder, which is with my Florida book, as you mentioned in the last video. You always have a Job folder. Inside that Job folder is the folder for all the images. Okay. Make sure you know where you save your files. And I don't want the format to be Photoshop, but I do want it to be a TIFF, T-I-F-F. -F. All right. Um, lots of these are obsolete now. The main ones we would use would be Photoshop for editing, JPEGs uh, for internet use, and for output to digital print. TIFF is a great file format. All right. Notice that it says it's going to embed the color profile Adobe RGB. And so there you go. 
ask me what compression I want. Sometimes it's handy to use LZW compression, but for the most part our memory devices are big enough, so I can hit none. These guys we don't have to change, and I will hit OK. All right, so now I've got my shadow minnows 02.tif. I can double check in image size that it's 300 pixels per inch. Okay, now I can go back to my InDesign document. I'm on my selection tool. I have my picture box with a big X through it. Click OK. Go to Edit and <laughs> try File and Place, one of those. Command D. Go down to my Images folder, which is inside my Job folder, and I'm going to Shadow Minnows 02. That's the one we just made. Notice it's the same size as the previous one. Boo! And it goes into place there. Now it didn't quite line up the way I wanted it to, so I can reposition it. Drag it down to fill up my box. And fits around that bleed. Doop. And there you go. You will see the specifications on screen there. Adobe RGB color space, 300 pixels per inch, saved as a .tiff format, and we'll do that with every image that we've got. Okay, see you next time.